Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Leo July 19, 2022. Energies today encourage you to gather your thoughts and formulate your plans. There may be obstacles, a slight setback, or a delay to manage first, but it can make you try harder, helping you out in the long run. Worries about a relationship or demands from others can be distracting, and concerns may need addressing, but don't let them drain your energy. Fortunately, you also benefit from a Sun-Mercury alignment in your sign, giving your voice more power and clarity as the day advances. People might seek your opinion or advice on a matter. You may feel compelled to express your ideas and make an impact, or others seem to be talking about you. While it's a time of mental renewal and increased decisiveness, watch for being too objective in situations that require more sensitivity today. Today and tomorrow are going to be significantly better for you than yesterday. After dealing with some potentially challenging cosmic energy, you'll begin to start seeing clearer skies. Of all the zodiac signs, you will be granted the greatest luck, too. Mental Mercury, fluttering like an angelfish through your zodiac sign, is drawing closer to the mighty sun, also transiting your solar first house of identity. This ensures that you will have great mental breakthroughs and a very active day ahead. Listen to your intuition and deeply contemplate where you stand in your romantic life. You will be given an opportunity to speak up for what matters most to you. Is there a price tag on dreams? Networking? Friendship? You should consider who and what is worth the investment when the moon in Aquarius squares both Uranus and the north node in Taurus. Typically, you like to commit to whatever and whoever you are incorporating into your work life. But the squares stress the importance of the future, particularly choosing sustainable options that will be an undeniably valuable investment over time. Use these squares to think about what you want to invest in for the long haul. Your answers may be surprising yet reasonable. For a few months now, you have felt that things are accelerating in your professional life. Perhaps you started some projects they have developed faster than you anticipated, and may even have gotten a bit out of control. Is all this extra work really worth it financially speaking? Intensify contacts to people, because they find you particularly likable right now. Plan your leisure time with family and good friends and most importantly, make your plans together. You might feel like ringing up an old friend, the time is perfect to revive and strengthen old ties. This will make it easy for you to make new contacts and maybe even lifelong friendships. It's time to take the plunge. Do it in the name of love. If you don't scrawl your thoughts across the sky with one of those little airplanes, how is the world going to hear you? This is not the time to feel sorry for yourself. If you long to find someone to share your life, give yourself every opportunity to meet someone new. This is not a time for dreaming but to make your dreams a reality. Be courageous, get out and socialize, forget thoughts of past loves and look eagerly to the future. Whether or not you're artistic by nature, inspiration for music, painting, writing, or other creative projects could well be coming to you thick and fast. Write down your ideas. There could well be so many you may not be able to remember them all otherwise, and you'll definitely want to draw upon them later. At least one of your ideas could involve a new business enterprise involving a partnership. Take good notes and do your research. Don't be surprised if you feel more domestic than usual on this day. The influence from this vibration enhances your appreciation for your home and the people therein. Don't be surprised if you find that you just want to stay home today. If this is possible, go for it as it is sure to be most enjoyable. However, if you have to work for a while, try to step earlier so you can enjoy more of the home environment. Our eyes in the sky. In the afternoon, Sun-Mercury conjunction in the watery sanctuary of Cancer increases your social interaction and makes you the perfect entertainer, especially at home. You love to show off your house and the things you've done to make it comfortable and inviting for your guests. This is a perfect time to host an intimate dinner party. When you and your close friends get together during this chatty aspect, it's the perfect environment to spill the tea. Luckily, 
Things should cool off before the day comes to a close, but you might still need an outlet to relieve all the stress from the day. Working with a creative hobby is the perfect way for you to unwind, so be sure to set aside some time for a little art therapy before bed. It is also possible that this signature will manifest in the form of an auspicious attitude adjustment. We understand how our emotions can be harnessed to work for us, giving us more bandwidth to deal with the unexpected. In this way, we consciously approach new experiences, rather than reacting improperly to unconscious triggers. In the morning, Mercury forms a trine to Neptune in Pisces, stimulating the imagination. Mercury in Cancer brings out our sentimental side in communication and correspondence. We are prone to romanticizing the past, and what we desire now is to translate nostalgia through a creative or spiritual outlet. This is an ideal influence for artists who wish to convert intangible emotions onto an artistic or theatrical canvas. We can also find ourselves reaching out to friends who we haven't spoken to in years to reminisce over shared memories. This is a poor time for dealing with cold, hard facts. We look at the present through a lens of the past, so go easy on yourself if this turns out not to be the best day for remembering errands or memorizing information. Before noon, the Aquarius moon can join Saturn, placing us in a solitary mood. We are still under the influence of the Mercury-Neptune trine, absorbed in our own memories. If we are not currently surrounded by people who can corroborate our past recollections, it may be more natural to spend this time alone. The truth is that few people, if any, will know about past events with the same perspective or a shared frame of reference. This can leave us feeling a bit lonely and hungry for connection, yet equally unenthusiastic about building bridges. The important thing now is not to sit and sulk, use this transit to do something novel and constructive with your potent emotions. Following this connection, the moon syncs up with Mars, also in Leo, providing stamina and passion. We feel brave and eager to conquer our goals. However, the risk here is that we end up trying to conquer others instead through showy displays of bravado that can be more off-putting than inspiring. Mid-afternoon, the moon sextiles Venus in Gemini, engendering gratitude. Words of affirmation and quality time are our love languages. We spread joy around by making others feel heard, checking in to ensure we are understanding them correctly. While the sextile is an auspicious aspect, we might miss its best effects if we aren't paying attention. This is a great time to connect with friends, taking in entertainment like a concert, party, or art exhibit. It can also improve intimate relationships. A new romance that begins now would be light-hearted and fun. The desire to write down your thoughts on a subject you've been either thinking about or possibly even researching could come upon you today even if you don't try to do any more with it than post it on an internet newsgroup. If you've been thinking about trying your hand at a magazine article, on this or any subject, this is the time to get started. Your mind is sharp and your self-expression free-flowing. 